and you can do shortcuts such as like you're seeing here now on this stage. This is an incredibly vertical city. Yes, it's uh, inspired by San Francisco famously. And Sonic's just skateboarding down in kind of a signature, signature. Oh, even got the cable car turnaround. Yep, Excellent. absolutely. So yeah, it's kind of a signature part of that level, um, but still a different experience. So for, again, we're trying to fulfill people's expectations and, and the nostalgia, but make it a new experience. So we've got Green Hill Zone, we've got City Escape. Are we seeing, you know, Casino Night Zone? Are we going to the Arctic? Are we going to Vegas? Are we going on underground? That's an excellent question. Um, but uh, right now, all that we're talking about is Green Hill Zone and City Escape. Um, and people, sharp-eyed people who, who look at our video may notice some hints of some other stages. But all we're talking about right now are those two, but there are a lot more to come. So keep a sharp eye out if you're checking out Sonic Generations con uh, content. Uh, Brian Hyuk from Iowa wants to know about another, uh, another Sonic game. He's a big fan of Sonic Spinball, you guys, including any little nods to Sonic's other adventures. Um, we're trying to uh, be as comprehensive as possible, but uh, we are kind of uh, also looking at uh, most, most people have exposure to, to the major titles, mm -hmm. so, uh, you know, we're keeping that in mind as well, but I'm, I'm not saying no. <laughs> cool. Now, so you're, you yourself, obviously, an aficionado and a fan of Sonic. Absolutely. So when you sit down to play this game, you know, you play the modern games, you play the classic games, what's one thing that just kind of delights you? What, you know, what, what puts a smile on your face when you're playing Sonic Generations or when you think about other people playing? Well, um... Another thing that's really awesome about the series is the music. Besides the giant truck chasing Zelda. Yes, oh, sorry, this, this truck, let me that. talk, yeah, this truck also shows the development team's philosophy. So that's a very uh, famous uh, moment within uh, the, the City Escape, this truck chasing Sonic. But the, you know, this time we have it in HD and it's much more destructive and, and this truck has these saw blades. And we're about to probably see something that's pretty cool right here. So again, we're Smashing showing the, the buildings. The dev team's trying to surprise people, you know, even if you played the previous game, even if the, the same thing that's happened in the previous level, you're going to be surprised in some way by exactly what happens. Now I'm seeing that the truck, his license plate is gun, and so you think of <laughs> guns, you don't really think of Sonic the Hedgehog, but I guess it's appropriate that a gun in Sonic's world is a giant flying truck with huge saw blades coming out of it. Yeah, truck. absolutely, absolutely. So, yeah, that's the, the, the traditional name of the truck, and so we, we went with that. <laughs> So that's, I mean, that's, you know, that's a traditional, that's a, a something that'll scratch a nostalgic itch for a lot of folks. Are there any other big scale encounters you want to tease that Sonic's going to have with? Uh... Well, one thing I wanted to be sure to touch on is the 3DS version. Yes, please. Fortunately, we don't have that to show here today, but uh, um, we're also developing a version on the 3DS. And one very cool thing is uh, we're picking a whole new suite of stages for the 3DS. Oh, so really? the stages that you see on PS3 and 360 are going to stand alone, and we're going to have an entirely new set of stages on 3DS, except for Green Hill Zone. Um, the, so the stages you play on 3DS are going to be different than the stages you'll play on PS3 and 360. That's very cool. And of course, 3DS will be in 3D, as you mentioned, the console version supporting stereoscopic 3D as well. Absolutely. Yeah, like that truck scene is pretty, pretty impressive. And, <laughs> I bet that one plays pretty well from the uh, <laughs> from that point of view. That thing, I can't get over that giant truck. That thing was awesome. And now we're back in the city stage, seeing a little bit more of the uh, one of the more two dimensional. Yeah. Aspects. So, so this looks what, more like the classic style. Exactly. So what's interesting here is uh, so City Escape was uh, the gameplay of the modern is actually more uh, similar to the original Sonic Adventure 2, but um, in in creating uh, this here in the, the, the classic version of City Escape, where we basically the dev team has license to create an entirely new uh, zone, but still include the signature elements. So again, here we have the truck, Yay, and he's threatening truck. Sonic um, in, a, in an entirely new way, coming from the sides, but now here he's pulling to the background and coming back to the foreground. Yeah, you better make those jumps quickly. Yep. Nice. I notice he hasn't busted out the saw blade yet. Uh, no, not just yet. But uh, one of the cool things is uh, the truck you may have seen here in the, the classic level actually uh, destroys the terrain. So uh, if you beat the truck across the terrain, um, it's going to be a different experience than if, than if he beats you and destroys some of the level geometry. Oh, interesting. So that plays into the, you know, Sonic sort of multiple paths. Exactly. Level. Exactly. So you'll be on a different path if the, if the truck has destroyed the terrain or if he hasn't destroyed the terrain. And allow you to, you know, take a different course through the level. Exactly. 
We have got a lot of folks asking again about multiplayer and other characters, but like you said earlier, both Sonic, the two characters, uh, classic Sonic and modern Sonic, and though we will be seeing other characters from the Sonic for Sonic's history, none of them are playable in Sonic Generations. Um, correct. So we wanted to, we're focusing on, on the experience with uh, modern and classic Sonic, but you will be able to uh, interact with your friends in some way. We just are not talking about just, just what yet. <laughs> Uh, we will, on the 3DS version, I should mention, uh, multiplayer, we will have a uh, 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 two-player versus multiplayer mode. Oh, great. Yeah, just, like, just this is a 3DS-specific feature. Okay. Yes, so th that will be available Are on we 3DS. talking a, a straight race through the level? Um, we're still, I don't think we're talking about the, the details of that just yet, but there will be some kind but of there will be some multiplayer mode. Wireless connectivity. Yes, and we'll have Street Pass, a lot of other 3DS-specific features. Street Pass, maybe a, a Sonic AR card. Oh, that's, that's interesting. Around with. That's interesting. Yeah. Oh, there you are. So that completes our stage. Maybe we can get the director back up here again. Very cool. Perfect bonus. Uh, you know, game director doing very well. Yeah. Showing off his stuff. And now we see that the score. You got a score there. Yes. Are we talking uh, any kind of leaderboards? You know, maybe oh, compete with your friends. Yeah, we are including uh, some kind of. We are including some internet functionality. Um, uh, so I don't think again we're not talking about the details, but there will be uh, functionality around around the leaderboard scoring. You know that's always fun and awesome to, to do with Sonic. So, All right, Patrick. Know. So more details to come about Sonic Generations in the coming months. Uh, but tell us. When is Sonic Generations coming out for the different platforms? It's coming out holiday 2011 on all three platforms. On PS3, 360, and, and 3DS. Nintendo 3DS. Correct. Patrick Riley, thank you so much for joining us and bringing the blue blur by. Happy thank you, birthday Chris. to him. Thank, thank you. you. I'll folks. pass on your best wishes. All right, cheers. You folks are headed back out on the show floor yet again because there are just so many booths and we have plenty of time to send them to you. Uh, Warner Brothers is where we're stopping off this time. Let's see what Homer Rivara manages to turn up there.